Hey guys, it's Comfortable Studios here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a rumor that has surfaced throughout the year about one of Great Adventure's signature thrill rides being removed ahead of the 2024 season. Now, I do want to preface before I even get into this video that this is just a rumor. Nothing has been confirmed, and I'm not seeing this as a fact until the park announces it officially, just like when the parachutes were removed. I didn't buy into it fully until it was confirmed by the park that they were being removed. So I say that we wait until we hear an official announcement regarding this ride. But as of right now, all the signs are there that this ride probably is not going to be around much longer. And the ride in question is Twister. Now, if you don't know what Twister is, I'm not really surprised because it is at a pretty weird spot of the park. A lot of people kind of forget it's even at Great Adventure. This is Great Adventure's Huss Top Spin attraction. This ride first opened back in 1999, and during the 90s and 2000s, this ride model from Huss was very, very popular. Tons of parks were installing them. Most of the major parks in the country had them at one point, but they slowly but surely started to fizzle out until the point where we're at now where Twister Great Adventure is the only model of this type left in the entire country. There are no other Huss Top Spins left in the United States except for this one, and I can't say I'm surprised. Twister has had a fair bit of downtime throughout its existence at the park, and a lot of that stems from the fact that the ride is not necessarily simple. There's a lot of moving parts to the ride, and now that the ride model is very rare, parts are very difficult to come by more than likely. That's why when the ride does break down, it will be down for an extended period of time if, say, it needs a part, because the parts aren't really easy to get. It was closed at one point this season, I remember, and they were waiting for parts. It did eventually come, and they were re able to reopen the ride. But because this is a very rare flat ride, getting parts is not easy, which I imagine means that cost of those parts is not cheap. So overall, the ride probably has a pretty high operating cost. And judging off of Salim's vision, where he said in the most recent stockholder call that they're looking to cut down on high-maintenance attractions, Twister would definitely fit the bill there. I mean, there's, of course, plenty of other rides at Great Adventure that are also high in maintenance, but a lot of those rides tend to be much more popular than this ride. I'm not saying Twister isn't popular. It does pull a pretty decent line every now and then on a crowded day. But when you have rides like El Toro, King de Ka, that are way more popular rides and, of course, do cost a lot to maintain, I think you're better off cutting off a ride that's not as popular like Twister, even though it still is a great ride that's very unique. And personally, it's one of my favorite flat rides at the park. So seeing this ride go would definitely be unfortunate. But like I said, please remember this is not confirmed. It's just a rumor. The reason I'm sharing this is because if it does wind up being true, I want to make sure you guys do have the opportunity to ride it if you haven't already. I don't know that it will be open during Holiday in the Park, and it should be open for the rest of Fright Fest. I just rode it the other day during Fright Fest, so I highly recommend getting to check it out while you can on your next visit to the park. If you haven't ridden it, go give it a ride because we may not have it for much longer. Now that does lead me into the next part of this video, which is what could replace Twister. Obviously, Twister's location right next to Parachutes, which are also closing, definitely opens up a pretty substantial plot of land at the park. The rumor as a whole of Twister being removed is definitely helped by the fact that the Parachutes are also being removed. It makes sense to get rid of two rides that are right next to each other, which would open up more space for a bigger ride to replace it. Now, do I think that we're going to get a big ride replacing this area anytime soon? I don't. I think they have their eyes on other areas of the park. Of course, in 24, we're getting flash vertical velocity, which is going over in Metropolis. The park is also heavily rumored to get a brand new coaster in 2025 over by Medusa, but that's a topic for another video. And of course, there are plenty of other options throughout the park that could definitely suit a brand new ride or coaster more than this area. I think that the Zumanjaro Q area where Rolling Thunder used to run definitely needs a new attraction. You have El Diablo's Q space you could still use. You have the old Kitty Splash area in Golden Kingdom. There's a lot of space over there to use. Additionally, of course, you have the rest of Metropolis's area that you could build out right next to Justice League where the Aftermath Maze is. I'm sure they could definitely figure out a way to make that area usable. Plus, there's still more room in the kids area over by Jersey Devil, as well as an area for a flat ride that could definitely fit next to Jersey Devil's bathrooms. So there are plenty of areas throughout the park where new rides could fit. So maybe we're not looking at a new ride replacing Twister and Parachutes. Maybe rides that the park already has that they want to move around a little bit to make more room for investments to go in those areas. 
I know a rumor I've heard floating around is that Tango, which is the little tiny kid ride over by El Toro, could get moved out of Plaza del Carnival and over into the boardwalk. Again, just a rumor, not definite. But I do think this could make sense as Tango very rarely has any ridership at its current location. Most people don't even know it exists, they just think it's theming. So getting that ride out of that area and putting it in a spot like the boardwalk where there's a ton of foot traffic, especially because of Green Lantern and Superman, putting that right there would definitely get more kids to ride it. It would be a good spot for it too because there's not really any kid-oriented attractions over in that area of the park. And of course, it would open up more land in Plaza del Carnival for maybe more theming, maybe another new ride, something like that. So I think that would definitely be cool. But looking long term, there is definitely a lot they could do with this space. I know a lot of people have been championing for Green Lantern to be removed. Personally, I think Green Lantern is a great ride and I don't think it should be removed. But we have to remember that it's been operating since the 1990s when it first opened in Kentucky. So it's definitely a fairly old attraction, but the same can be said about Batman the Ride, which has been operating since 1993. It's been going for 30 years now with not really huge issues. It seems to be running just fine. So I think Green Lantern is going to stay for a little while longer. So when taking that into consideration, it doesn't really leave a giant plot of land. It's pretty much just whatever the parachutes took up and that little bit that Twister has. There is that employee parking lot behind, but I don't think they really want to intrude on that since it is used fairly frequently. It's also used during special events like the food truck stuff and all that. So they definitely need to keep that space there. So honestly, I think their best bet would be to replace these two rides with a giant signature restaurant. They have Yum Yum not too far away, and then they have Granny's on the other side of the park, but the boardwalk is pretty far off in its own area, so I do think it'd be nice to see a big marquee restaurant, kind of similar to what Cedar Point did with the Grand Pavilion. I think that would be really cool because Great Adventure, they only have the two really like themed signature restaurants, and I do think it'd be cool to see something new. I know a lot of people probably don't want to see more restaurants come to the park. They want to see more rides, but you have to balance out the rides with additions like food, drink, and other stuff like that. Even if it wasn't like a giant restaurant, just something small, similar to like Johnny Rockets or Fat Burger or something, I think that'd be great too. Of course, you have stuff further up on the boardwalk, but down by Superman and Green Lantern, there's not really anything. So I do think something down there would work pretty well. But of course, I do want to know what you guys think about this whole possible twister removal, replacement of parachutes and twister. I want to know what you guys think. I do think that there's a lot of evidence that would lead me to believe Twister probably will not be around after this season, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to Hollywood Studios, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.